What's good, y'all? You know who it is, man. Favorite Trucker Back reporting live from the grid out here in Temple, Texas, man. Hope all is well because God is good all the time, and especially on this Motivational Monday, man. Um, hopefully, you guys had a fantastic weekend. I know I did. It was um, everything and more, man. Um, just very beyond grateful how everything turned out this weekend for my girl's birthday. Um, I'm just so grateful and just so thankful, man. Everything was perfect. It was beyond, it was beyond the beyond my imagination for me. It made me get emotional. It was like, dang, everything worked out perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, man, just blown away, blown away, man. Just from, just from everything, man. It was just blown away, man. But I've been out here rolling this morning. Got up about three thirty. Um, went. Uh, got up about 3.30, went to Irving, picked, dropped the empty, picked up my loaded, went to uh, McLean in Dallas. I love that place because it's always a drop and hook. Got there 45 minutes early um, and then waited around for about an hour. Mm, got there an hour early um, and then went to the truck stop. That's probably less than a mile up the road. Waited there for about an hour and a half. Hour and a half, almost two hours. I say two hours, two hours. I waited around for my next assignment, kind of ate and kind of did my uh, daily devotional things. And um, then I got my next assignment was to come down here to the cleaning temple. Went to drop that empty, picked up the load, and got down here. Got down here. My appointment time wasn't until four o'clock, but I got down here at one o'clock. It was 12 57 when I checked in. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, we're. we're uh, Okay, you know, fill out this paperwork. I said, okay. She said, well, we're not doing any, um, taking any appointments until 5. My appointment was at 4 o'clock. So I was like, mm, let me get parked and let me make some phone calls because I'm going to run out of time. Because at that time, I had 4 hours and 50-something 50, 50 odd, 50 odd minutes. And um, I was like, nah, I got to make some phone calls, man, because... Uh, Brother ain't gonna be down here, just stuck, just sleeping up down here because where I'm parked at, which is at a gated, mm, I don't know if it's an entry or an exit, I don't know, but that's where they have to, some trucks come park at while they wait on their appointment times. But I'm not gonna have enough time for my appointment time because I know that they're they're pretty lengthy in their unloading process because the last time I was here, I had eight pallets and it took three and a half hours for eight pallets. And I barely had enough time to get back up to Waco and parked. Cause I had like, mm, had like a little over an, almost two hours left on my clock to get to Waco and chill for the night. And today, right now, I got three hours and 33 minutes. And I got my pre assignment, my next assignment for tomorrow, but I ain't finished with this one today. I'm like, hey, we need to get on the same page. Y'all, y'all are not communicating right now and we need to come on. Cause, uh, I'm not gonna be sit. If I have to sit here, I don't know if I can stay here. That's the thing. I don't know if I can stay here. Um, I don't know because I've never done this, been this one before, and I definitely don't want to have someone come. One of them knock on the window. Uh, you might move in your truck type deal, and I ain't got no time. You know, I ain't got no time on my clock to move. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully I'll hear something soon from my side, for the Schneider side, and uh, what the plan of action is for me to go forward, you know, uh, to do for today. Um, but like I said, man, it was a good weekend. Hope you guys had a good weekend, man. Um, definitely, um, um, definitely, um, just, uh, beyond grateful, man. Um, like I said, just for the weekend and, and just everything that, that happened and transpired just to, you know, get a fresh start from how last week was, you know what I'm saying? Um, just from some family things and just how, you know, the, the incident that happened, you know, um, just can't allow yourself to get complacent, man. Um, I definitely, like I was telling my best friend, you know, it's my brother's birthday today. And um, just kind of let him know. I was like, man, look, um, you know, he turned 30, turns turns 33 today. And it was like, look, man, I said, it's a plan. It's, it's about action, man. I said, you can have the lights, camera, but you can't. You can't make the move without the action. You know what I'm saying? So we got to have the action, man. You got to have the action, man. You know what I'm saying? Continue to build up on that momentum is what I tell them every day. So I tell myself every day. We got to continue to build up on that momentum that we cr create. 
no matter if it's small or big, just like an avalanche, it starts small and it creates more momentum and it becomes a, a, a colossal avalanche, you know what I'm saying, that can take out, wipe out anything, you know what I'm saying, just like a, a hurricane, you know, whoops all the water up with the waves, takes out any and everything in this path, you know what I'm saying, just creating that momentum, you know what I'm saying, because uh, I told him, I said, you know, it's cool to, to be comfortable uh, to get comfortable in whatever situation scenario it is because it's like you have to feel like you know make yourself at home like look i'm supposed to be here but i can't allow myself to get complacent you know what i'm saying now that i'm here now that i know i'm supposed to be here now it's time to make some noise now it's not only for the, can you know, can you uh, not only see me now it's time you for, for you to hear me yeah you know what i'm saying like it's good to be seen now it's time to be heard it's a lights, camera, now it's time for the action. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time for that now. You know what I'm saying? And, and I always say that, man. It starts today, man. You know what I'm saying? That belief in yourself, man. It's true. It's real, man. It's real as the sky is blue every day, man. No matter how cloudy it may be, once some clouds blow out, that's cloud, that sky is blue, and it's true. You know what I'm saying? And um, that is for sure, man. But like I said, man, hopefully I hear something soon, man what I should do. Like I said, I got three hours and 30 minutes. Um, there's a truck stop probably maybe a mile up the road or so, but sometimes, you know, using those, the trucker path app, um, sometimes they're true. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're updated. Sometimes they're not, you know, you just never know, man. Cause it's like, Oh, there's, you know, there's another one, uh, probably five to eight miles up the road. And then you get on into Waco and it's like, kind of need to know some yeah it's like i'm gonna get creative with my with my parking but i kind of need to know some you know what i'm saying like i need to know some asap like what i need to do where i need to go y'all let me know some but they know they, they they know um whatever i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my best and stay safe and um not take nothing for granted double check triple check everything and just kind of go from there um but you know like i said all in all it's been a good day man um definitely refreshed rejuvenated revitalized and um steady motivated you know what i'm saying i'm motivated man um, definitely motivated man um definitely motivated man um like i say man i appreciate you guys for the follows i appreciate the questions i just appreciate you viewing watching sharing whatever you know the, whatever it you know it is I appreciate it all, man. The good, take the good with the bad, you know what I'm saying? Take the bad with the good, you know what I'm saying? And just roll with it and keep doing what I got to do and keep doing what we got to do, you know? Um, like I say, man, it's trucking, it's fun, but it's definitely, you know, it. it, it you got to have that, that better half that understands that, you know, you're gonna, it's going to require you to be gone for a little bit to get some experience, unless you already got the experience, you know, um, you know, there's the, the, the home dailies and, or if you choose to do that, or you can be at over the road, you know, just having that little bit of action of both is, is, is kind of what I'm looking for. Opportunities to be home every night. And then it says, Oh, we need you to run a load to here or there. I'll roll and do that. You know what I'm saying? Just get, just to have my cake and my ice cream too type deal. And I know, I know that mentally, well, not even mentally. I would say psychologically that might not be realistic, but I'm still going to believe in it, though. That it may, you, you never know. It could be a situation like that. You know, a new company started something, may have none. Or it could be an older company got a new contract on something. So you never know, man. Um, just continue to be safe, man. Continue to stay prayerful. And um, you know how, you, you know what I'm going to say, man. Just continue your research, man. Um, just continue to do your research, man. And continue to have that belief in yourself. Plus the mindset that you can do it is that contagious behavior for success. Start small, stay consistent, and trust your gut instincts. And just remember, I'm just an imaginary little brother giving you advice. Outlast the average and take everything to the bloodstream until the next episode. Uh -huh. Meanwhile. One thing about it, two things for sure. Three things for certain, man. A calm sea ain't never made a skilled sailor. Where your life at right now is where your life at right now. I don't know who need to hear this today, but keep going. That part. Straight up. Later. What's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite truck. I'm back reporting live from the gridiron here. 
in Temple, Texas still, man. Um, giving y'all a quick update, man. Um, they finally had got me unloaded and called me at 7.30, no, 7.22 to um, come get my paperwork. Said they were done. By that point, I was already an hour and 15 minutes over on my 14. Um, I know a lot of drivers call it the e-log crawl. I had to do that for about, mm, about a mile, going about four miles an hour until I found me a parking spot. Um, I was worried that I wasn't going to find a parking spot here because of how many trucks usually, I mean, how long it takes, number one, to get unloaded because it was 11 pallets and I got back up to the door at 4.30 and it was 7.30 for 11 pallets. Um, that's number one. And I knew of all the trucks that could be or waiting to get in um, just because of all the trucks that was waiting to get in when I first got here. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just, it just blows my mind, man. Just the length, the length. Maybe it's short on time. Maybe it's a process that they had to do things, but man, man, you know, just, just to say, what if they didn't have parking here? What was I going to do? Because the truck stop was, it was, a, it said on the, the trucker path app, it was a, a mile, one, uh, was it a mile and a half there we go it was, yeah it was a mile and a half up the road and it was like i'm an hour and 15 minutes over brothers get fired for going over an hour and it's like i'm an hour and 15 minutes over if they didn't have any parking you know what i'm saying what if they didn't have any parking at the truck stop what was he gonna do you know what i'm saying like i don't know man um not worried about it no more because I, I got parking um god is good all the time and um just gonna i've already eaten um just gonna chill man um I'm just gonna chill and get ready to go to bed because i'm thinking about getting up from if i calculated it right my 10 hour reset should be up at six so i should get up about four ish and then get to get myself together and be ready at six to head out up to Dallas because we'll take about an hour and a half or so to get there. Um, get there. Well, hold on. I can't say six. I'll say get out here by six thirty, six fifteen, six fifteen, six twenty. The latest that I do my pre trip. 6 15 6 20 the latest then head on up to dallas will take me about two hours because i got it, my appointment time there to dallas Ozarka or something like that let me see let me see what it said uh, it was uh, it was niagara bottling tomorrow is at 10 29 it's my appointment time and then I got to be from there to go across the street to Costco, be there at 11. But all that is to say is I got to get live loaded. I got to get live loaded and then get customer un customer live loaded and live unloaded. There we go. So, you know, that's going to take some, it's going to take a little, probably a little time to get loaded. For sure, Costco will take that long to get live unloaded the one time I went there. Um, but, um, you shall see, man, that's kind of my plan. You know, sometimes plan usually don't work out that way, but that's what I'm what I plan on doing. And, um, we shall see, you know what I'm saying? We shall see. <sighs> we shall see. But, um, uh, like I say, man, it was definitely overall a good day, man. Um, you know, I had plans to do kind of get back or or at least get to a truck stop but usually that don't happen especially when it takes that long you know what i'm saying especially when you don't hear back from your side schneider's side which i didn't hear back from but probably every reason i didn't hear back from because they probably didn't hear nothing back from coca-cola you know it is what it is you know i'm not pointing the finger i'm not whatever i can sit and complain about it all day i could take you know i just want to inform you 
you guys day in and day out how it is. You know what I'm saying? And and I got to get you in your, to not allow myself to get worked up about it. Things happen. You just got to adjust. It's like water off a duck's back. You just got to roll with the punches sometimes. And, you know, kind of go from there. And um, that's kind of the plan. You feel me? Um, so, like I said, I'm just going to chill for a little bit. Then you're ready to lay down and get ready to hit it hard again tomorrow. And I'm talking about. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much about it, man. I, I can't go lie to you because I want to sit here and ramble and rant. And it's no need. You know what I'm saying? It's no need, man. But um, continue to do your research. Continue to have that belief, man. And continue to ask your questions, man. You know what I'm saying? Continue to ask your questions, man. Whatever you get, guys may have questions about, continue to ask. And we can make this thing happen. You know what I'm talking about? So, until the next episode. <laughs>